Hey everybody, I'm here at Toucan Dive and I'm wanting to talk to you about regulators and specifically regulators like this that you may have found at the garage sale down the street or maybe on eBay or maybe Uncle Bob's got one that's been sitting in his garage forever. You know, the truth of the matter is, is that if, if it's been maintained at all, when you're sitting at the surface, this regulator is going to breathe just as good as any of those. Um, but you're not probably going to use this on the surface, right? The whole reason of having one of these things is to be able to breathe underwater. And it's underwater that these things and their age is really going to, be going to become more evident. A couple of issues of why I'm concerned about older regulators. First is few of them are environmentally sealed. Here's why an environmentally sealed regulator is important to have. I wouldn't dive without one. That environmental seal is what keeps the, element, the particles in the water. In warm water, it's salt and sand and just little mucks of degree. Those, those elements getting into your first stage of the regulator can cause it to have issues. Now, when I'm diving, I don't want to have any problems, but I really don't want to have any problems on my life support system. And so I want to have a regulator that is environmentally sealed because it will protect me from potential issues taking place underwater. In cold water, that environmental seal, that keeping the water outside of the regulator, helps prevent freezing of the regulator. A freeze-up, that's a problem. I don't want to have it. And that environmental seal, or lack thereof, that's a big deal to me. Here's another issue that I would be concerned about a used, older regulator. One, well, another reason, I don't know what care they've been given. Have they gotten serviced every year like they're supposed to? Or has it been 20 years since they've been serviced? Has a technician looked at this and said, yes, this should operate as expected? Or has this got rust and degree and spiders living inside of it? I have no idea. I want to have a piece of equipment that I can trust. And an old used piece of equipment that's been sitting in a box for how long is not a piece that I would, that I would trust. Again, this is life support. I don't want life support being sitting in someone's basement for the last 20 years. You know, the second stage of the regulator here has come a long way with technology. Way back when, and I'm not talking that far back, you would have to suck in as you were 30, 60, 90 feet below the surface. Here, sitting on dry land, breathe it all day, not a problem. But underwater, where you got that pressure of the water pushing down on you, it's going to take a lot more effort to pull air in through this old regulator with the old technology in it. Worked great, it worked great in its day, but there's a whole lot of better working today. So I want the newer, better working equipment, right? Older regulators at the first stage, they don't have the same number of low pressure and high pressure ports that the newer equipment has. These ports are what provides you air to your second stage, to your safe second, to your BC. High pressure port provides for a gauge. Some of these older regulators, they only have three low pressure ports, one high pressure port. That doesn't allow for all of the uh, air to go, to, or gas to go to places where I need it to go when diving. The, the truth of the matter is simply this. You might find a great deal at the garage sale. You might find an amazing opportunity on eBay, but my gosh, this is life support. And when it comes to this, I would rather come into my local dive shop, like Toucan, my local dive shop, and talk to their pros about the new technology and, and to see what this is going to get me that this will not. I wanna make sure that I'm diving safe and diving with reliable, dependable, newer, Techno newer equipment is part of that. What are these still going to cost you? I'll be honest, there's a wide range of prices. But if it were me and I was coming in and I was budget conscious, I would be looking to spend about $600 for a regulator. And that's going to provide you with the things that you need to be diving safe. And that's the goal, right? Anyway, hope this helps. Dive safe.